I want to do a long haircut with long layers. Because I want to do long layers, I want to start from the inside out. I want to go interior to exterior. Why I want to do that is because I want to know how long this piece is going to be. I can always blend it into the bottom, but if you start in the bottom and you start layering up and then all of a sudden the layers are shorter than you wanted, then you've, you've messed up your execution, what you wanted to do. The next thing we need to break down, I need to know my horizontal line. So we talk about our vertical, how long do we want this to be? How much layering do we want to do? And now where do I want to move the weight side to side? Do we want her to have rounded looking layers that go around the face or around the head this way? Do we want it to be more balanced in the back like this? That would give me weight towards the edges, towards the corners here. I don't want to have weight in the corners for this cut. So we're going to be moving in a circular motion around the head shape and we're going to work pie shaped sections till we get to the corner here. Same thing, one to two to three to four. There's literally two things to think about. There's how much do we want to graduate or layer? So graduation is anything below 90 degrees. So if I've got this held out from the head shape here, I'm at 90 degrees, all this is layered. So we are going to start with the vertical section in the back. I'm cutting this down to the occipital bone. There's not gonna be much hair underneath here to cut past the occipital bone, but I'm just gonna continue my line. See, there's nothing really there. If there is hair there, you continue that line. This is one thing I want you guys to think about. When I cut this, my top point of my section is at 90. This line that I cut, I wanna continue that line straight out till it hits the floor. So everything that I bring out from the head is going to follow that line. That's the line that I chose for this haircut. So I'm gonna pivot here, grab section two, and I'm going to bring section one over to section two. So I bring this up, got that entire section one in my hand, and I come across and I cut. I'm combing the old section, the guide, toward the new section. That will just ensure that I'm pushing the guide in the right place. Section one over to section two's place. You cut section two, you drop them off at home. Section two then goes over to section three's place and section one gets dropped off. So here, section one stays back. Now section two goes to pick up section three. So we bring section two over to section three's house go through and we cut. And now I'll recomb to then grab tension again. Now we drop section two off at its home and three goes over to fours. So at this point, you should be basically right behind the ear over top of your section and continuing that line. So that line stays the same angle. So that is the left side. So we got some layers going. Then I can determine what I want that outer perimeter line to be. Now, cutting the front. This is the portion in the back that we already cut. When you look at that, you should see a little rounded edge. That's because it followed the round. I'm going to do condensed cutting. So I'm gonna take this entire right side and I'm going to comb it up in my hand. So as long as I'm 90 degrees, then the rest of this section, everything from this point over, as long as I'm 90 degrees on this point, the rest of this will all be above 90 degrees. So all layer. Now you want to comb like this, comb it all the way up. I'm going to grab a piece from the back as my guide that will connect it together for you guys. I got my piece as the guide. I'm over top of the parting and I cut across. Now we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Now what I want to do what I would have my guests do is lean their head forward, kick all this hair kind of forward, bring a little life into that root, just a little, shake that. But I have her flip her hair back 